How's it going guys, Jensen Crypto here and today we have a video on will Bitcoin ever hit $2,000 ever again? So guys, let's get right into the video. Can Bitcoin even hit $2,000 ever again? Well, right over here I'm at CoinMarketCap.com and in CoinMarketCap.com if we scroll down right over here in the charts area right there, we have a all-time Bitcoin chart from April 28, 2013 to March 12, 2018. Okay? Now, if we go right over here, as you guys can see right here, May 21st, 2017 was the last time that Bitcoin hit 2000, right? So, if we're going to grab that, if you hold the mouse on coin market cap, we're just going to grab this area right here and we're going to zoom it out that whole area right there from that point of time in Bitcoin all the way till today. And here we have it from right over here, May 27, 2017 with Bitcoin at 2000 around there all the way to right now at March 12th, 2018. And it is 9,617 with a huge peak in the middle of around $20,000, right? So, First, let's look at this decrease in this peak from 20,000 to what? 9,616. What is that? That is pretty much Bitcoin cutting its price in half. It is a half loss. If you have 10, if you have 20,000 and you went down by 10,000, but you still have 10,000, it's, it's cutting, right? It's, it's cutting by half. So that was in a span of, let's see how long it took from December 17, 2017, all the way to March 12th. So roughly around three months or so. It took three months for Bitcoin to decrease in price by half. And the market cap was by, back then 328 billion and went down to 163 billion. So also the market cap also got cut by half or so, right? Now, what would it take for Bitcoin to go to 2000? Well, if we see right over here, right in the beginning, right there, look at that. Pretty much 2000 just three dollars away the market cap was 32 if we want to roughly estimate that let's just say around 33 billion dollars that was the market cap on may 27 2017 33 billion dollars well with bitcoin going down so much the market cap is at 162 billion so if we check really quickly 33 one two three one two three one two three which is 33 billion multiplied by around five, I believe. That means, yeah, so there's 165 billion, pretty close to what we have right now. That means Bitcoin would have to go down five times over what it is right now in market capitalization for Bitcoin's price to go down to 2000. That means Bitcoin going from 9,716, five times below the market cap right now, that would make Bitcoin go all the way to 2000 thousand dollars now is that even possible right the volume for 24 hours even with bitcoin crashing is still around 6.1 billion dollars in a volume of 24 hours however back then the volume was around eh, around one or two billion look there was times where it went down all the way to the millions again but yeah around one or two billion was the 24 hour volume from bitcoin money going into bitcoin and money getting out of bitcoin right now, however, however, guys, Bitcoin has been way more implemented since back then. A lot more people know about Bitcoin since back then, which is not even that long ago, guys. This is what? From May 27, 2017, that was literally less than a year ago, guys. This right here, this time frame right here is less than a year ago. Is it possible? In, extreme, in an extreme circumstance... Yes, that can definitely be possible. Bitcoin going down to 2000 in a very, very extreme circumstance. I'm talking about Bitcoin just got hacked and, and everybody stops trusting it and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about really, really extreme circumstances. Yes, Bitcoin can definitely go back to 2000. However, those circumstances are most likely not going to happen. Very, very, very small percentage for big, for something really, really groundbreakingly negative and major and and truthful and factual uh you know a factual negative thing to happen to bitcoin you know that's just and i mean a big thing something that everybody hears about 
and everybody loses trust not everybody but the majority of people lose trust on bitcoin they're like oh bitcoin's not the way maybe we should focus our attention more on the altcoins like bitcoin cash for example maybe we should focus on the other altcoins instead of bitcoin because bitcoin and eh, not not working out right well that's not gonna happen guys those are super major super rare uh s negative situations that are just not gonna happen so i mean like my personal opinion would be bitcoin will never go back to 2000 it does not seem possible just like for example let's look at the all time really quickly so from 2000 here to say that let's say we were back in may uh in may 2017 right let's say we're back in that time frame and now we're making a video saying oh will bitcoin ever go back down to 200 well let's make it a little more reasonable uh like about less than a year difference june 24 2016 or maybe a little higher up will bitcoin ever go down to 553 dollars with a 24-hour volume of literally just le less than half of a billion 330 million 24-hour volume and the market capitalization at 8.7 billion is it realistic to say even if it was at 2k if we were making a video at that point saying oh will it go down to 553 of course not guys that is a huge huge difference that bitcoin's too adopted at that point so now we're making a video that bitcoin's at pretty much at 10,000, saying will it ever go back to 2000 it's not gonna happen guys especially if bitcoin as as bitcoin is continuing to be more implemented and more merchants are using bitcoin as a way to purchase as a matter of fact guys over here in miami there's a very popular place called winwood and in winwood it's pretty much like a art area of of miami but what i'm getting to is there's actual shops there that say bitcoin accepted there's bars there that say bitcoin accepted when i saw that when i was walking around winwood and i saw that i was like oh wow to think even here in miami we're seeing stuff like that and i'm talking about that's crazy. That's really crazy because Wynwood is considered the ghetto of Miami, like the ghetto ghetto of Miami. And to think that something as uh, not fully mainstream like Bitcoin is already shown in places like that. So yes, guys, there's major implementation of Bitcoin. Merchants are accepting Bitcoin everywhere, left and right. Bitcoin will never go back to 2000. That's just realistic. You know, I don't need to show you guys a fancy algorithm to tell you guys if Bitcoin will ever go back to 2000. It will not go back to 2000 simply because there's too much adoption. There's too much adoption. The market cap is too high for it to ever go back to 2000. People would have to be selling Bitcoin like crazy. I'm talking about the majority of people that are in Bitcoin right now selling Bitcoin. That's just the most unlikeliest scenario possible. You know, so it's not going to happen, guys. And in the future, Bitcoin will be reaching some pretty crazy highs. Okay, guys, if you guys have ever heard of the blocking half reward, when the block is, is going to do a half reward, right now, I believe it's 12.5, uh, and I think it'll go down to around uh, 6 or so. I It's around there. I haven't checked uh, not too long ago, so don't quote me on that. But when it halves, that means people per block are going to be receiving half less than what they were receiving before, which means Bitcoin's going to be even rarer, which means that Bitcoin's price is going to be even higher because it'll cost more. All right, guys. So no, Bitcoin will not be going low as low as 2000. And by the way, if it ever did go as low as 2000, mining would be so unprofitable that we would lose all our contracts from Genesis Mining, Hashflow, all that kind of stuff. We would lose our contracts because in the contracts, they say specifically that if it were to no longer be profitable we will give you a grace period of around 20 to 30 days to hopefully see if bitcoin will go back to the price and if it doesn't go back to the price you're cut out your contract's expired done right it's in the con it's in the contract that you uh, agree on in uh pretty much all the cloud mining services so yeah uh so it's not going back to 2000 guys as a matter of fact i would be bold enough to say that before 2018 before 2018 for sure i want to see bitcoin at 30k 30k before 2018 2019 you know entering 2019 we will be seeing minimum 30k quote me on that one guys minimum 30k i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do daily cryptocurrency videos guys so make sure you guys subscribe i have passive income ways that i use myself 
in the description below. So make sure you guys benefit from that. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Take care. Thank you.